Welcome, everybody. Mississippi State, Kentucky. Carl Ravitch, Jimmy Dykes, and our buddy Marty Smith returns to the party. So it's official as we get set for a clash in the SEC. A couple of teams near the top of the conference. Kentucky 5-2, Mississippi State 4-2. Huge opportunity for Mississippi State to try to do something nobody has done yet this year, and that's win a game at Rupp Arena. Former Carolina Tar Heel Garrison Brooks playing really well for Mississippi State. Jumps against Oscar Shibwe. And it's controlled by Kentucky as we take a look at Kentucky's starting five. It is presented by CDW, the fifth different starting lineup for UK this season. There is no Ty Ty Washington. He's out with a rolled ankle, so it's Mince in the backcourt. He has it in the corner with a ball fake to get things going for a Keon Brooks pull up jumper. That is the sweet spot for Keon Brooks. Rather, he's so good at those long twos. That pull-up jump shot off of one bounce. Iverson Molinar is a superstar on this team. And uh, were it not for the season that Sheboy and Smith are having, he's probably number three in the SEC Player of the Year race. Jumper, no good. Sheboy pulls down rebound one. He's had a 28 rebound game. Wheeler with a blow by. And just like that, Kentucky on top. By two. Yeah, that run game of Kentucky on their home floor. And it's all led by Savir Wheeler. Kentucky is dynamic offensively in this building so far this year. Good start for KU. UK, I should say. There's Garrison Brooks. The big man launches a three and pulls him within one. Garrison Brooks is averaging about 11.2 per game. Not known as a three-point shooter, like one out of 12 in SEC play coming in, but a very good long two-point shooter that Kentucky has to respect. Oscar Shibwe, he will take the baseline jump, but Sutton Marty will tell us they've been working on his jump shot. We know about the rebound, we know about his presence inside, they're working on that shot. How about this physical play, barreling inside and getting the foul is Cameron Matthews, the sophomore out of Olive Branch, Mississippi. Yeah, thanks, Jason. Way to set the bar so high. Or at least the guys on the floor did. What an incredible performance. What a huge win for the Illini, Jimmy. Think about that for Illinois. No Kofi Coburn tonight, no Andre Corbello, and they just go right at it. When I watched, Frazier was tremendous in the ball screen because you and I, we both know how good Michigan State is. Yeah, absolutely. Saw those dudes in Bahamas, that's a real team. What a win. Back here. Marty Smith is with us as well. Mississippi State down four zip early. Now is tied at Garrison. Brooks hit a three, then a free throw from Cameron Matthews. Game plan tonight for each team. Jimmy's going to do what? Well, for Mississippi State, they are really rugged with their two-point defense. And they, they don't need to get overstretched against Kentucky because Kentucky, as we know, they don't take a lot of threes. Can they put a lot of bodies in the blue part of the floor on their defensive end. Mississippi State, one of the few teams in the conference that can really bang with Kentucky. Kentucky, the best rebounding team in the country with the best rebounder in the country. They're five and two in conference. Mississippi State, whose schedule gets a lot more difficult the rest of the way, has a real chance here at Rupp to do something nobody has done, and that's win a game here at Rupp. Kentucky is unbeaten, and they have won by an average of double digits. Shibwe, and that's a bad pass. Good defense. And here's Iverson Molinar, one and one by Keon Brooks. How quick was that? Yeah, he, he's tremendous. I think he's going to be a really good pro in another year or two. He's all of 6'3", and he, he may be the best two-point part of the floor guard in the league. Really good interior bounce pass from Oscar Shibwe to Keon Brooks. Shibwe is so good with his hands. Not only as a rebounder, he doesn't turn the basketball over, and he's a very good interior passer in a crowd. There is no Ty Ty Washington tonight again. He is the go-to guy on offense for Kentucky. He came down on a Sheboy ankle this weekend, the game against Auburn. They were playing really well with him and looked like they had a real good chance to win it. And when he went out, sort of the air from Kentucky. Kellen Brady. Splash. Boy, is he feeling confident. It's been some real interesting numbers for him. In three of his last five games, he made one three field goal attempt. And in the other two, he was four of seven. 
He's one of one tonight. We're just underway. Kentucky and Mississippi State, 9-6. SEC on ESPN. Big game tonight. It's been interesting already, Jimmy. Georgia, a win over Alabama. Missouri's currently having a having a good game against Auburn. And here, what a statement opportunity for Mississippi State, Iverson, Molinar, and Ben Howland. We sensed that shoot around at Mississippi State understood how big of an opportunity they had tonight. You could just feel it. Yeah, absolutely. Right? I mean, we've seen Ben Howland in the past, and this one went to a whole nother level today. And boy, this would certainly do a ton for this team out of Starkville to knock off Kentucky in this building will not be easy the Cats unbeaten so far in here Shibwe deflected it both these teams terrific defensively caused a lot of steals and they both crashed the glass keep an eye on the rebounding difference tonight more blow by Shibwe block loose ball and here comes Kentucky again Wheeler Flies in, gets fouled, lays it yeah. up and in. He barreled right into a moving Iverson Molinar. He's got a chance for a three-point play. I'm not saying that Severe Wheeler is the fastest guard in the nation, bringing that thing with heat, but he's certainly right there with the best four or five because he's got another gear right here. Bam, shift and go. Oh, that is hard to handle, hard to guard. And you try to set on his left paw, it's almost impossible. He's going to get there one way or another. No question about the call? I don't have a question about it. No, I thought there was contact. Doug Chow's into a shot motion. That's what that speed does for you, though, man. It just it kind of it, it gives you the favor of the whistle. Kentucky pressure right now, and they're trapping. Now Brooks wide open behind the back. Pretty play. He's got a chance for a three-point play. What that? a pass from Shaquille Moore. <laughs> the guts of Shaquille Moore <laughs> in transition going full speed. And... One of the really good hands by Garrison Brooks, who's just a load. You know, he was a former ACC preseason player of the year at North Carolina, and he wanted to expand his perimeter game. Is why he left and come to Mississippi State. His dad's an assistant coach here. And he's been a handful now. He can go for 20, 25 on the visiting floor as well as anyone in this league. What a pass. Garrison Brooks has six early points. Mississippi State down by three. They'd like to see Brooks become more and more offensive-minded, take more shots. Familiar refrain for those who watch Kentucky a lot. Calipari's often said about certain guys, I'd like to see them shoot more. Grady's figured that out. Came in a Carolina game. They got seven on the shot clock as they move it to Wheeler, who goes in the paint again. And he was in amongst Man. the trees. We're going to have Sheedway shooting two. And a foul it looks like it's going to be called on Garrison Brooks, and it is. All right, after the great Big Ten game, we'll catch our breath after this timeout. ESPN's exclusive presentation presented by Progressive Insurance. Save when you bundle auto, home, or motorcycle insurance. Visit Progressive.com. Ty Ty Washington averaging about 14 a game and playing much better than he had at the beginning of the season. The comfort level is there. He landed during the first half against Auburn on the ankle of Oscar Shibwe. As a result, he rolled his left ankle. Hasn't really practiced, and uh, there's still a TBD on when he comes back. His absence means what? Well, Kentucky is 17 points per 100 possessions better when Ty Ty's on the floor. That's a big hit because he's the one guy that can just break off, right. go make a play for himself or a shot for others. So Kentucky's going to have to manage may maybe more than one game without Ty Ty Washington, but he is the, the heart and soul and the heartbeat of this team right now, especially on the offensive end. If Auburn is the best team in the country, and I believe they are, Kentucky went healthy, Ravi. They are right there with them. They are also Final Four good. All right, and Kentucky gets Auburn in uh – a big game coming up as well. Kentucky's got to deal with Kansas. Smarty, the good news for Kentucky, they got the guy in the middle who's as good as anybody. I know Jimmy Dykes thinks he's a, a potential player of the year, Carl. And it's interesting, in speaking with John Calipari today at shoot-around, he actually feels like Oscar Shibway's a better player than he knew he was getting when Shibway chose to transfer over here to Lexington from West Virginia. He knew he was agile. He knew he would be a physical presence in the middle. What he didn't know is that he can shoot the basketball as well as he can. I spoke to Severe Wheeler today, too. He's known Shibway since they were in high school. He said he was really limited back then. All he could do was roll and dunk. Now, 
now he can put it on the floor. He can shoot a short jump shot, and that makes him so much more dangerous, obviously. Severe told me he's willing to take constructive criticism. He wants to learn, and so the improvement will only continue. How about the two free throws? It found nothing but the nylon. He's shooting about 74% from there. Really nice kid, too, for a guy that's just physically so imposing on the basketball court. Re Ravi, rebounds are his oxygen. That, that's, that's his lifeblood, and he gets one rebound every two minutes and 15 seconds on the floor, which is a ridiculous rate, by the way. Like that. He went up with two hands, grabbed it, and he has a dunk here, unless Grady, whoa, look out. <laughs> got the three doinked right in between the rim and the backboard. <laughs> don't see many three wedgies from Grady. So talk about the offensive and defensive rebounding that Chivwe does. You mentioned it's his oxygen. Nobody's close to 15 a game. Colin Castleton is second. He's not even at 10. Oscar's near 15. He had the 28 rebound game against Western Kentucky. We did. And that was like the ball was just going to him. But in fact, he goes to the ball every time. Oscar Chivwe averaged right at nine rebounds a game at West Virginia. And then John Calipari got a hold of him and said, you'll do everything. Everything with two hands here as a rebounder. That's taking him from nine to 15. That's the difference. And he's starting to pick him apart now. He goes two hands there again. Something to keep an eye on. His two-hand rebound. That's Brooks. what you need right there out of Brooks. He took it to the hole. Sheepway offensive rebound. A little push and shove. With the very physical Cameron Matthews. Davis gets in there too. And one of the things that we saw with Severe Wheeler, Marty, after those screens, Oscar Sheepway was told, feel free to be a little more assertive on the floor, maybe what we just saw there. Absolutely more assertive, and I found it so funny. Jimmy was just saying there how John Calipari told us today that they have absolutely stressed to Shibwe two hands. Everything you do, two hands. What did Ben Howland tell us during Mississippi State shoot around today that uh, Shibwe is the, quote, poster boy for fundamental talent in rebounding with what? Two hands. Two hands. Everybody's noticing. Yeah, he went straight up there. Good take, but it's a miss, and watch Shibwe another rebound, and he gets fouled. Anderson goes Garcia into the game. Oscar Shibwe getting the round of applause from the folks here in Kentucky. He's already got six rebounds. Ravi, he's just a, he's a force around the rim. He's, he's immovable from the lower body down. And then he's those vice grips for hands, man. He, and he has a nose for the ball. He's a high IQ guy. He studies a lot of film. I was even watching him today at shoot around, study his free throws after, after practice. That's how detailed he is in every area of the game. Well, they worked on that shot, and that one is yeah. going to be soft enough to roll in. That's the shot he worked on today after practice, That's and he right. had the managers filming him, and he went and watched it afterwards and says, making sure, is my elbow under the ball? Am I getting it up? Am I holding my release? Student of the game, man. Love this kid. Man, really great. You're exactly right. That was the last. He was the last guy on the yeah. court. He practiced it and practiced it, and here he is putting it into play. Molinar jump step, and he's going to get fouled. They'll call that on Severe Wheeler. Speaking of Wheeler, we've seen this a couple of times this season, and it is tough to watch because the impact on Wheeler is so great. But a screen there from Efton Reed in the LSU game laid him out. It took him a long time to get up, and when he got up, he was woozy. And then here Saturday, he runs into Kessler, and that was another one that scared everybody. He eventually came back in, and then Calipari said today, look, last few minutes of the game, I was telling him, you don't need to be in the game. And Severe said, yeah, I do, and he was playing. But he now is going to go to the bench. That's the second foul on number two. So what do you do about that play? If you're Kentucky, whoever's man is setting the screen has to be up even with a screen calling out the word smack. That's what Kentucky uses when they say the pressure's coming behind. Smack, smack, smack. Well, they didn't do it on back-to-back -back plays. It's not only on Shibwe in that incident. It's on the entire team. The entire team has to Absolutely. pick that up and help uh, Wheeler because Wheeler is a constant ball pressure point guard for 94 feet defensively. This is Rocket Watts. We just saw Michigan State lose to Illinois. And the Michigan State transfer buries the second free throw. A couple of substitutes coming back in. Garrison Brooks. Shaquille Moore and also into the game for Kentucky number 23 Bryce Hopkins who had 15 minutes of playing time against Vanderbilt and since then in three games has gotten six minutes Tell Paris into that we, we got to get him some action it's not as if he's not playing well it's guys ahead of him are just playing better he's got to get in Davion Mintz high arc three no good in traffic still loose 
picked up by Brooks. Mississippi State, the number two offensive rebounding team in this league. Those numbers have been hurt, though, tonight without Tolu Smith available. That's a big loss to Ben Howell and his guys. 6'10", 250, averaging 13 and 5. Just another physical body that you've got to put on Oscar Shibwe for the 30 minutes that he's on the floor. Ben Howell doesn't have that depth tonight on the inside. Yeah, that's a good point. Tolo Smith, 6'10", out of Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. He is dealing with injuries most of the season as Brooks walks. In fact, he's missed 10 of the 18 games this season. And in this case, it was a kneecap that was displaced. I heard them talking today. It sounded like they're hoping to get him back for an Arkansas game, which is about three games from now. They got a huge Big 12 SEC game against Texas Tech coming up in Lubbock. Won't be easy, won't be fun. How impressive was Texas Tech last night? By the way? I was as impressed with him as I was with Kansas. And how about this? Bill Self is a ridiculous 34 and 0 on Big Mondays at Fall Gallup. 34 and 0 on Big Mondays. That is crazy. Yeah, by mistake, you lose one. Hierarchy three, no good. Good hustle there, and some collisions down, and hitting his head on the floor was more. He's okay, though. He ran into Kellen Grady and went down. You can hear it from where we are. His head hit that hardwood. Ravi, this has been a very physical, high-contact, body-blow league so far in the SEC. Harrison Brooks soft, but no good. Shibwe, how about that? There's that two-hand rebound and clear his seventh board of the game. Mintz pulls up. That's good. Ravi, you build a wall, the wall's got to stay built. Because Mississippi State had a pretty good wall built and then just kind of fractured and Mintz, Mintz read it right to the rim. Really well done, 10 and 1. We love Davion Mintz for his experience. He's had some clutch shots for them. He can do just about everything. They play in the point guard when they need to. Tough guard against Moore. Both these teams, when they settle into the half court, will take their time before they get the shot up. That comes with six and it goes down. That's Watts again. Rocket Watts has to be a big scorer in this game. Now, he's capable. 20 last year at Duke, 21 at Michigan, 15 at Illinois. And all those teams are ranked in the top 10, and he's capable of getting big numbers. Jacob Toppin, high wire act, had a pretty 360 dunk that was all over Sports Center. Shibway to the free throw line with 10 on the clock. Brady launches. That's off. Good rebound there in traffic. Quick hands from Anderson Garcia. Or just watch off ball. They are really putting bodies on Oscar Shibwe, making any cut that he tries to make go through somebody's chest. And Kentucky's transition game, their run game has been alive and electric so far in this building with opportunities. Watch Davion Mintz bring this thing. The guys in the maroon jerseys are going to build a pretty nice wall right there. Build the wall, but keep the wall. The wall breaks down. Mintz turns the corner, gets to the jump shot. Really well done by an older guard. Welcome back, everyone. Super Tuesday. It is presented by Progressive Marty Smith. Joining us on the sidelines, Jimmy Dykes, Carl Roberts here at Rupp Arena. Ravi, this is really interesting to me. During the timeout, Kentucky has two assistant coaches. That's Bruiser Flynn on the right and Will Barton, the director of basketball. They're assigned to watch Mississippi State's huddle every timeout. Cal says, I got seven coaches. I don't need everybody in the huddle right now. So what are those guys doing? Well, they're making sure that Mississippi State doesn't check somebody in so they're matched up right. And the longer you do it, you see they're still looking right now. The longer you do it, you can pick up on where's the focus as the huddle breaks. Like, where might the next play call be going? What's, what's the temperament of the opposing team's huddle? And I had that job in my first year in coaching as a graduate assistant at Arkansas. But some teams do it, some teams don't. Kentucky's always dialed in on the opposing timeout. Right. Javian Davis, number two, is into the game. So they would pick that up as Garrison Brooks gets a little bit of a breather. And in the game for Kentucky, Damian Collins. Bryce Hopkins is playing, and also into the game, 55, Lance Ware has it now. So wholesale substitutions with three on the shot clock. Mintz in trouble. Ware kicks it to Grady. That will count. It's too strong. He got smoked. And that Brooks got pounded. You guys mentioned the lineup for Kentucky. It is a unique one. This is four guys who do not start. And 
John Calipari wants to get Bryce Hopkins more minutes. We were just talking about rebounding with two hands. Cal constantly harps on that. And down on the other end from where I'm sitting just a moment ago, Hopkins went up with one hand and missed the rebound. And Cal told him about it during the huddle. He is happy with the way that they're pressing. They're doing a good job containing, but the second line is not getting up quick enough to take advantage of that. So those are some things that Cal's saying to these guys in the huddle. Garrison Brooks, so they're going with a couple of guys with big size in Brooks. And JV and Davis. Garrison at 17 against Ole Miss, and he missed both free throws. He's a pretty good free throw shooter. But I'm able to get anyone down there at 77%. Ready? Cal trying to develop his depth. If they are final, oh, that's such an easy roll for Seabway. In the middle third of the floor, it's a naked roll because you got to respect those guys on the side. But if Kentucky's Final Four good, and I think they are, he's continuing to develop that next guy. Is it Hopkins? Is it Collins? You, know, so you see that another body to win four games to get to that Final Four. A lot of talk about Shaden Sharp, who showed up on campus. I heard Cal today at the end of his shoot around say, We don't intend on playing Shaden Sharp tonight. And the value of Davion Mintz is being seen now. Foul trouble for Wheeler. Mintz comes in. He knocks down that jump shot. He set up the assist to Shebe on the prior trip. And Ben Howland's wondering, was there a push off there to free up Mintz? There's a lot of contact by Mintz. I do know that. Right, I talked about Big O Shebe in the middle third of the floor. And he's just going to trail the play right here. And just a little bit of a ghost screen for him. Just kind of rolls up. Just enough contact to free himself up. There's no defensive help. And, you know, Mintz maybe uh, developing as that backup point guard without Ty Town on the floor. And I thought he got away with the push. And Ben Hallen did the same thing. That's why he called the timeout. But Mintz and Severe Wheeler have been really, really good with their run game so far. Yeah, Kentucky having a good game shooting. 9 of 16, that's 56%. Chibwe, we got uh, 9.39 to go in the first half. He has nine rebounds already. Left-hander no good. He had a chance to lay it up with his right, but Shaquille more the natural lefty, and he comes up short. Six points, nine boards. Mississippi State has six rebounds as a team. Got there, find him down low again. Brooks will hack him. If you don't have multiple big bodies or length like Walker Kessler, 34 and White's going to dominate the game at both ends. He's always in the front of the rim. He, re he, he reads the ball so well as a rebounder. Now the foot fake and the 16-footer starting to fall for this kid. I think he's a leader for the National Player of the Year. I, I really do. Uh, uh, Baji last night took a big step towards that second guy right now. Ben Matherin coming up later tonight after our game at Arizona is there as well. But I do know this. There has, there's not been a more grateful kid to ever put on a Kentucky uniform than Oscar Shibwe. He's right there with Bam Adebayo in terms of how grateful he is to be here. Yeah, well, he had a chance. Kid. Remember, Calipari and he were with each other through his high school years. He ended up going to West Virginia. Huggins and that program showed him the love that he wanted to be seen. So he went there and ended up transferring here. There was some kind of issues with his departure from West Virginia. But to your point, we mentioned what a great kid he is, how grateful he is. And uh, Marty, this now seems to be a perfect match. By all means, and when I spoke to Oscar today at shoot around, I asked him why Kentucky, and he said he had dreamed of it and prayed for it since he entered the United States from his native Congo. He said when he actually chose West Virginia, and he said he did that because there were outside voices that really impacted him and influenced him, he said he cried every day. That's what he told me. He cried every day at West Virginia, and then the doors opened to come to Kentucky, and I love this. He told me people tell him he's inspiring them through faith and determination because he's centered in faith and as he put it quick to learn and slow to speak i yeah. love that no doubt and the impact his parents have back in the congo is when you talk to him huge yeah he's uh his siblings and his mom kaya live in very humble circumstances and that drives him every day to make their life better and, and he's going to get it done there ain't no doubt in my mind hard take good defense that time another missed lap they missed a couple at the rim that time it was DJ Jeffries. Ten point lead for Kentucky. Keon Brooks thinks about it instead, gets it to Shibwe. We're starting to see the impact of no Tolu Smith. Brooks has two fouls yep. already. They're living in the paint trying to get it to Oscar Shibwe. 
Don't forget later tonight, what a finish to this triple header here on Super Tuesday. Arizona, certainly a national championship contender. So is UCLA. You get those two right here on ESPN and the ESPN app. Now, the Arizona, the fastest team in the country in terms of the length of their offensive possession. It's only 14 seconds. They, fa they play a fast brand of basketball. Kentucky only takes 60 shots a game. That's about an Whoa. average pace. Dante Allen with an impactful play as he enters the game. A follow-up flush. Yeah, Kentucky is, is more than cheap. Where they are a beast to try to keep off that offensive glass. They rebound against, against each other. And if you don't, Shebway is going to get all of them. Dante Allen, how big has he been against Mississippi State? Last year, Dante Allen, 46 points on 13 made threes in two games. Well, it's not a three, but UK on a 7-0 run because guys like Allen just eating glass. All right, the words have been marked of Seth, which is tremendous. I got myself a Rupp Arena ice cream, which is going to figure in the next 750, thanks to the folks behind us. I, I'm with Seth. I'm, I'm, I told you, I'm all in on UConn. Yeah. All in on the that, that, That's a bunch of grown men, man. That Man, they play with an attitude. Sano goes a load. And I love coal, the, the, the coal factor. And there, there you are with the fans eating ice cream. I don't know what's going on. What are you going to do with it for the rest of the game? I'm going to probably eat it. What, what other choice do I have? I, I don't know. But some, there's some We're not, well, here, here's what I know about Rupp Arena. When people offer you things, don't say no. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. How about the field that we had at the Bahamas? Michigan State, Baylor, Auburn, UConn, UConn. VCU, Loyola Chicago. Loyola Chicago. No, that was an early season, unreal tournament based on where these teams are now. And again, congratulations to Bruce Pearl and the Auburn program. What he's done there is ridiculous. And for the first time in school history, the AP won, being challenged tonight by Mizzou. There's 12. Chance now to get it down to eight or seven with a three. Rocket watch. That three is a little shy. And it's going to be Kentucky basketball. I mean, Molinar's got to get going for Mississippi State. And Kentucky's doing a good job of not leaving him in any situation right now. So how, how do you guard a legit score? You limit his touches. And that's what Kentucky's doing a nice job of. And so here's a scary number if you're Mississippi State. Under Cal. Dante Allen, quick trigger, no good. Under Cal, Kentucky is 313 when they lead by 10 or more in a game. 313. You don't come back against Kentucky. And they had a 12-point deficit. It's now 10. Keep that in mind as this one unfolds. Severe Wheeler back on the floor. Good hands there. Molinar picked it clean. Where's Brooks going, man? He drove it right into defensive help. Wait, run. Dante Allen. Tied up Molinar, and it's a jump ball, and it's Kentucky basketball. That's what you do if you're Dante Allen. You're not getting a lot of time. You come in, you follow up by rebound with a flush, and then you play defense like this. Yeah, because Cal has challenged Dante Allen. Do something more than make a three if it's not going. I mean, he's gotten on the offensive glass, and just really a rugged body bow play defensively by Allen. We get some shooters on the floor now, Kentucky. Mintz, Allen, and Grady, all good three-point shooters. With Brooks and Shibway as Wheeler goes back to the bench. You got two guys with Link and Allen and Grady, 6'5 and 6'6. Six, six. They rise up and make one over the top of you. And Brooks mismatch there with Watt Davis came over to help out. Shibway, of course, picked it up and put it in. He's got great hands, man. Great pause. And yeah, you're right. Everybody in college ball, for the most part, is too small for Oscar Shibway. Oscar Shibway is one point away from a double double with six minutes to go in the first half. When's the last time you saw Shibway fumble a ball? Like, it, it's, it's so rare. Now, like a wide receiver, he's got that stuff on his fingers, right? Just sticks to it. Spin move and a good one there that caused the foul. Keon Brooks will have some free throws. Jimmy, reminder, Saturday afternoon, ESPN in the app. Paulo Bancaro and Duke take on Louisville now. Louisville's becoming a big story in basketball. And then Auburn, number one for the first time. We mentioned that. They host Oklahoma, part of the ninth annual Big 12 SEC Challenge. A lot of good games, good matchups. But it looks like Louisville is considering very seriously moving Chris Mack out of the program. He's got a $12 million buyout. When he got rid of, you know, Gaudio, there was some 
reports that Gaudio was going to out him because of program violations. That was reported in different places. Apparently, the school is in discussions to separate him from his job as head coach. Yeah, his radio show got canceled tonight. And, you know, if ever there was a slam dunk hire when Louisville hired him, we all thought it's a slam dunk. But it just goes to show how hard it is. And there's no guarantees. You can you can miss in recruiting. You can miss maybe on a hire. It just unravels on you. But Chris Mack right now, just you know, he served that six-game six suspension because of how he handled that Dino Gaudio situation. But yep. that is a big story developing here in the Commonwealth. All sorts of success at Xavier before he got to Cincinnati. A double team Shibwe and a little rip away there. Good hands by Cameron Matthews. He's ahead of the field. No good. Look at Shibwe in traffic. How about the effort of Shibwe? He got doubled up and turned it over. He's right there to clean up the Whoops. miss. Dante Allen, though, it's going to be on the floor. He's not going to shoot. Tried to sell it. I would agree with Doug Shouse on that one. DJ Jeffries, the foul. Ravi, when you double-team Shibwe, you've you got to come and take up all airspace. Go. Go hard. Boom. Get right in that airspace and take it away. And a pretty good job by Mississippi State. you got to get body on body with this guy and not let him get room to get those quick shoulders turned. Or he's going to eat you up. You see how quick Shibwe, a lot of big guys trail. Shibwe was not in him. a foot race with Matthews. He is such a terrific athlete. I believe he has the fastest three-quarter court sprint. Is that right? for Kentucky right now as your ice cream continues to melt on my notes. No, not yet. <laughs> Ten for Mintz, and he launches. That's way off. That? that was an air ball. I mean, that's 10 seconds on the shot clock. He shoot a step back three, and the ball never got reversed. No, no point guard, so Grady and Mintz are going to kind of share their duties. Grady actually played point guard for Davidson when they played Kentucky when he was a freshman at Davidson. He's got experience yeah, there. Rocket Watts. How good is Kentucky's defense versus the offense that Mississippi State's running? Is that why they're not scoring points? I think Kentucky's being really physical, Ravi, because Mississippi State's a physical club, not giving any clean looks, clean cuts. Jacob Toppin, why not? That's a three, and they're starting to blow them out. 30-16, Kentucky. I'm a big fan of Jacob Toppin. He had an important 9.6 rebound game at A&M. He's got a lot of pop to his game, just like his brother had. Earlier this year, Kentucky put a hundred plus on Tennessee. The offense feels like they're capable of something like that. They're just making all their shots, and their defense is turning defense into points. Yeah, we saw Rick Barnes just like three days after that. He's, I'm just telling you, Kentucky is final four good. Look at the challenge. Moore got it to Brooks, who shuffled his feet. Very active on defense tonight. The Cats. Well, Mississippi State without their anchor on the inside, Tolu Smith. But it's also their pressure release against that pressure of Kentucky. Doing a little melting prevention for you. <laughs> You're also slow to speak and quick to learn. Yeah, that's a good quality, right? Two good I, I, I hope my daughter's watching this broadcast. <laughs> She's definitely watching a basketball game. Just not sure it's this one. Mintz, quick stop there, and he gets that shot blocked. Good defense, Matthews, and here comes Molinar. They need to have a run here as Molinar challenges Shibwe. That's a tough shot. Yeah, he is so good. He makes six two-point shots per game. That's where his bread is buttered. And you're right, man. He's going full speed to stop and go up and stay away from Shibwe, man. That's high-level stuff. 12 points. We're under the four-minute mark of the first half. Kentucky unbeaten at home this year and winning each game by double figures. Kentucky goes two-circle. Grady being the two guards, circling off those two blocks down low. One of Cal's favorite plays. Grady got stuck up in the air. That's a turnover. And you know what? A commercial means it's time to... Show someone that's hard to guard. <laughs> Top and knocking down a three. Can technically makes what, like six a game? This is the shot by Molinar. Full speed, stop, elevate, stay away from Sheepway. They need more of that. Yeah, Coach, uh, Auburn really hurt Kentucky with that stack ball screen action. 
and Kessler just dunked on him for two hours basically is what happened so there's there's always lessons to be learned but I'm with you they are final four good when they're healthy biggest part of this game right now and I think Fonz alluded to it Mississippi State's missed 16 shots they only have one offensive rebound Cal told his guys yesterday you hold them to 15 offensive rebounds or less there's no way they'll win Mississippi State not even close to getting to that number right now. No, and out of a timeout, that wasn't very good offense for Kentucky. They took a end of shot clock three that draw nothing but air, so it's a turnover for Mississippi State. It's a good offensive rebounding team, and to Seth's point, to do all those things, you also got to consider when you get Ty Ty Washington back, that's another component. Yeah, the offense is going to look different tonight for Kentucky because he is their best playmaker without a doubt. Yeah, good ball fake and a soft Damn. shot. And somebody else besides Sheboy got the rebound of Jacob Toppin. Next basket for Sheboy. Next point will get him the double double in the first half. Offensive foul. After he grabbed the rebound, he then comes down the other end and Toppin commits the offensive foul. Well, Brooks and Toppin this time. A couple of times, they, they've driven with, with no play to make. And Toppin's going to have to sit down, and Cal's going to ask the same question. What were you thinking? What did you see? And the right answer is, I don't know, Coach. There was nothing there. Got him. And the bucket. Good move there to get a seal off for JV and Davis. We'll get a chance to cut this thing down to nine. Mississippi State is really good with size screens. They use little on big or big on little, and that time it's Molinar as a guard setting a back screen on Shibwe, and no one saw it. A really good job by Ben Howland to use his screening action to get that ball around the rim. So, Jimmy, that's the third foul on Mintz, and Wheeler has two. So neither of the point guards are on the floor. Washington's not playing. No. Dante Allen going to handle the ball for him. Kellen Grady. The, 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 those are the two. Primarily, Kellen Grady. Told me yesterday he's very comfortable playing the point. The, the point guard at Kentucky is way different than what he was asked to do at Davidson. A very confident, mature kid. Right. Remember, I gave you those numbers, Jimmy. Three games in the last five. Grady was one three-point field goal, and the other two he had four. He's one of five from three-point land tonight. But there's a floater in the lane. Well, one thing for Mississippi State, they're keeping size on him with D.J. Jeffries, who's 6'7". I think you have to have a long defender on a shooter like Grady. Mississippi State's got a couple of them. Battle, and Davis had a layup and lost it. A lot of hands slapping at that basketball in white. The interesting thing to me about Grady is he, he has the one voice that Calipari will listen to in a timeout. Now, he's earned that trust because he leads Kentucky in minutes, but he told me there's been three or four occasions this year he had to ask Cal, Cal, calm down and tell us what we need to do. You see Cal celebrate on the sideline. They got that ball movement, and it freed up Dante Allen to bury a three in a lead, which had a chance to get down to nine. It's back up to 15. There's something about Allen against Mississippi State where the rim looks big to him. Those are his first points since the 29th of November. Baseline that's reverse, beautiful. pretty play. Iverson Molinar. I say that's beautiful because it was an empty corner, open floor for Molinar to attack. And, man, he's got a very quick, explosive first step for a 6-3 kid. Tough pass, and here comes a run out. Allen is back. No contest. Flush there, and a good one by Cameron Matthews. Kentucky had a chance to push this thing out to 16, 18 points, and Mississippi State says no, sir. Cal acknowledged, too, in that game against Auburn when Wheeler was banged up badly with you know, what appeared to be close to a concussion-type thing, and then, of course, they had Washington out. They weren't going to score a lot of points. They're in that moment now without their point guards. Molinar to the hole. That's blocked. Clean block. Bryce Hopkins makes his presence felt as Keon takes it into the lane with a left. Offensive rebound, the cutter, there's Hopkins! That is a four point 30 seconds by Hopkins. To erase what was gonna be the automatic two on one end and the hard cut at the rim on the other. Really well done by the freshman. Right at the buzzer, 37-24. Kentucky will go to the locker room up by 13. 
Welcome back, everyone, to Super Tuesday. It's presented by Progressive. 37-24, Mississippi State's 24 points, a season low in a half. Part of what leads us to tonight's game track brought to you by Fairlife. Sheebway, next point, gets in the double-double. Eight different players make a field goal. The rebounds decidedly Kentucky's Iverson Molinar, eight points. The ice cream is gone. We got no mess right here. We're all good for the second half. The other thing, Kentucky did turn the ball over a bunch, but again, there's no Ty Ty Washington here. They've had both point guards in foul trouble. Yeah, so as a result, Kentucky with, what, 11 turnovers in the yeah. first half. So you know Cal talked about that. The problem for Mississippi State in this ball game, they have missed 19 shots, two offensive rebounds. And Cal delivered the message strong and hard yesterday and said, Ben Howland's group, now they, they get on an offensive glass. If we hit them first and keep them off the glass, there's no way they can beat us in rough. So far, Coach Cal, prophetic. How about some thoughts from Ben Howland, Marty? You think Jimmy Dykes knew a thing or two about the round ball. That's exactly what Ben Howland just said to me exiting the locker room. We got to make shots. Go to the basket strong. Stop shying away. We got to do a better job moving the ball. And we're, we're getting open looks. We just got to make them. If we're shooting 29% from the field. You can't win like that. Well, there's a take and a block and a follow up. No good. Continue to follow it up. Brooks gets some guys in the air. And that's going to be a foul. We're going to be on. Keon Brooks. So that's the same number of offensive rebounds on the first possession that they had the entire first half. Message sent from Ben, message received from his guys. Third foul, Keon Brooks. So Jacob Toppin throws the sweatsuit back towards the bench. He's coming in. Brooks coming out. Well, the mindset of somebody going into the paint knowing it's a good chance you're going to get that thing blocked unless you can get it over there. Kentucky's doing a good job blocking shots. They got three of them already, and every time there's a paint touch, there's a hand up. Right, as long and as big as Kentucky is, they also they play big at the rim. Yeah, a lot, a lot of long teams they don't play big at the rim. Kentucky does, and yet they don't have the Colin Castletons or the Kessler. Kessler they don't have no. the seven foot two guy. Do play big though. Seven on the shot clock, Wheeler. Blow by, and how about that? You can't let him go left, and he certainly can't let him catch the ball on the move. What was that point we were making the last time we were together? Square him up. Square him up. He turned the corner, he was gone. Yeah, it's, it's not easy to square him up. Bad pass, Shibway ahead. That's and a wait a second, why what is he doing? trying to grab him there and do that? Absolutely going to be a... They go back to Severe Wheeler. Strong with that left paw. And Kentucky's guards understand how to lift themselves. They put X's on the floor at the Kraft Center to know you catch it on the X, you're getting it downhill. And there's a, that's the ability of Sheboy, man. He's so much more than a rebounder. That's Why just would a, DJ Jeffries do that? Just, I, 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 we have to ask him. Because that's, what are you thinking again? DJ Jeffries, remember, he's at one time was a Kentucky commit. And then decommitted and went to play for his AU coach, Penny Hardaway, and now finds himself in Mississippi State. Man, she weighs an athlete, isn't he? Yeah, he certainly is. He's missed the first one, and he makes the second. So now he's got his double-double. Mississippi State's made a living this year with their transfers. I mean, they have had some impact guys. Of course, Brooks, DJ Jeffries, Shaquille Moore was at NC State, ninth in the ACC, and steals per game. So they, and the entire transfer portal has changed the game of college basketball. Ben Howland said he, and it was Tom Crean, I think, in the SEC who was really down, voted against that whole concept. And he brought up the point about Nick Saban saying uh, he doesn't agree with it either, because if go, go ahead and do it, but it's only gonna help. Help us. Help us. You can see Jimmy Ben Howland's convinced them, and they're certainly being a little more aggressive. That was Cameron Matthews. He drew contact on Jacob Toppin. And that's his second foul. But a big Kentucky lead, and their defense is winning the game tonight. 40-25. So Mississippi State's road, road game defense has not been up to par in this league. They gave up 82 at Ole Miss. They give up 80 at Florida. And Kentucky's going to be pushing that number. If they don't get a clamp on things right now. This team that scores 75 points a game. Molinar buried in the 
Baseline. Brooks gets it to go. They're going to get a foul on Oscar Shibwe. And that's a hard, determined, gutsy drive by Mississippi State. And avoided that baseline out of bounds. And Garrison Brooks just gets two feet in the paint. Gets that left shoulder into Shibwe right there and gets Shibwe off the ground first. Chance for an and one. Garrison Brooks leading the dogs in scoring. Missed that free throw. He's got nine. Molinaro's got eight. Another turnover. The ball's on the floor. Mintz has it. Flush for wear. Contested two by Matthews. And a turnover turned into two quick points. Travel there. Jeffrey's having a bad couple of minutes. Now, Jimmy, he, uh, he was a long time ago commit to Kentucky, and then he transferred from Memphis. When he gets into double figures, the team is 9-1. and one. You know how many points D.J. Jeffries has tonight? I can't remember any. Zero. Wheeler, same play, and Ware battling for it. And Ware that time got it with one hand, and that's yeah. okay. Sometimes you just got to do your best just to keep the ball alive. Brooks in traffic, air ball. Ware is a big-time jumper, isn't he? There's no fear in Ware. And he lacks some skill in some areas, but there's been no fear in this kid from day one on this Kentucky campus as a freshman. Kellen Brady found Wheeler, and he got yeah. banged, and Jeffries didn't move his didn't move the feet. Now nah, he's going to drive those closeouts as well as any guard in this league. Uh, tonight, 11 Eastern, 8 Pacific. If you're a night owl, this is a really, really good opportunity to watch some high-level basketball. Arizona, number three. UCLA, number seven. It's right here on ESPN and the ESPN app. I believe Bill Walton will be on the call. Three Rabbi. fouls, no points, D.J. Jeffries. Arizona is final four good. I had the game that they lost at Tennessee. But they are, i just say this, Arizona will be favored in every game including tonight that's left on their schedule. That, that's how good they are. Nolan is fearless taking the ball to the basket. Mintz with a nice move. Look at Ware doing the work on the offensive glass. Grady, the ball fake and the berry. And it's not a real pure rotation by Grady. A little bit of a side spin. But man, is he shooting with confidence. He shoots about seven threes per game. He's got the step back, the transitions, the threes, the side steps. He can shoot him coming off of screens. It's a big time weapon. Good cut. Yeah, give Lance Ware the credit for that last one, though. He was doing the work on the yeah. offensive glass. Reed stays 14 with 16 and a half to play. Brady, that's a foul. Here's what Ravi you're referring to. Lance Ware had to tip it to himself and keep it alive. And there's that sidestep by Grady. I mean, he's way more than a one-dimensional three-point shooter. Some guys are just catching shoot threats only, not this kid. He's really elevated as a 24-year-old guy that understands the game. And we mentioned that he, he took between 16 and 18 shots per game at Davidson. Mm. That number has dropped down to 9 or 10 at Kentucky, but his percentages have gone up. He's really grown as a player under Cal. Yeah, Keon Brooks to the left. I ask Grady because he figures the guy that scoots and scores as often as he did 2,000 points at Davidson. Of course, Steph Curry was there. Like, what's that relationship like? They talk. They text each other, but it's not as if he followed in the footsteps of Curry at right. Davidson to say, that's a shooter school. I'm going there. Kentucky with some breakdowns defensively. They have been caught ball watching on two of the last three possessions, and Mississippi State has just cut that ball watch off. Keon Brooks thought he had a lane. He didn't. Boy, a late call there. We will take a timeout. Looks like they're going to get that call on Cameron <laughs> Matthews. And I kind of agree with Ben. Like, wait a minute, what? What, what just what, happened? What happened? Who are we? What? Sonic Blockbuster game, Kentucky, Kansas, Saturday, 6 Eastern time, ESPN. Maybe one and two, player of the year. Obagi had 37 last night against Texas Tech. Well, he, he is their go-to guy. Yeah, the, the, the shot that he hit late 
really elevated him in that National Player of the Year race. I, I don't know who I'd rather have personally, either Ochai Obaji or Ben Mathern at Arizona. I, I love Ben Mathern. They're, they're very similar, big, skilled guards, man. They just jump up and make shot after shot after shot. Brooks back, free throw, good. Amazing. Right now, Auburn and Missouri down to the wire. And a seesaw game, about a one-point game for the last 10 minutes. Ravi, I, I think everybody, though, is chasing Oscar Shibwe. When you consider he's got a chance to average 15 points and 15 rebounds, that'd be the first Division I guy to do it in the last 42 years. <laughs> if that's not National Player of the Year stuff, I, I don't know what is. So you're saying the last time it happened, Jim Beheim was in his first yeah, year at Syracuse. He was, exactly right. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> Three seconds on the shot clock, Rocket Watts. Got a soft roll, and he knocks that down. That was a really good-looking stroke, wasn't it, by Watts, under pressure? Brooks sees the lane, now it's a kick. Allen, that's an offensive foul. Keon Brooks all lane, and just like that, it's sealed up quick. Anderson Garcia there. Keon Brooks now picks up his fourth foul. Has not been the best evening for Keon Brooks. He's driven the ball, turned it over a couple of times. He's battled foul trouble. But that depth in Kentucky now, you bring in Toppin and guys like that to keep it going. Dante Allen. Kentucky just can't get this thing to that comfortable 16, 17 point advantage. Keep shooting himself in the foot. And the largest lead was 16. So they've had it 16, 14, 15, but it's never been comfortable. You're right. There's a hard tick. No contact, even though it looked like maybe Allen got him on the arm. And now Wheeler goes into the push mode and will slow it down. Look how Wheeler gets to the right side of the floor so he can operate left as a passer, as a driver. So smart, man, for a 5'9 kid. Just knows how to play as a small guard. He's had to do it all his life. Quick double team and that pass to Toppin goes out of bounds. All right, February 2nd, Jimmy SEC Network. Oscar Shibwe in Kentucky will host Vandy at Rupp Arena. The Wildcats have won 11 in a row, 14 of the last 15 against Vanderbilt. Our coverage starts 7 Eastern, 6 Central. SEC Network and the ESPN app. A little bit of that stacked ball screen that Auburn had some success with. Mississippi State breaks out of it. Just threw over the top of Kentucky time and time again off that middle ball screen roll. Iverson Molinar, 12 points. Into the paint, over so Yeah, That yep. is so good, man, to, to snake move that high flat ball screen on the outside and get to the right front of the rim. That, that, that is a pro move by Iverson Molinar. Well, Perry, I believe, just yelled to Davey. I meant shoot it. And so he will now, and he hits the top of the backboard. Rebound put back up and in by Shibwe. Once he gets where he is, you're not going to move him, talking about Shibwe. The quote from Van Howland on Shibwe, you can't move him, he's immovable, he's a monster. <laughs> Runs the floor like a tank, a very fast tank. <laughs> Molinar ends up on the floor. The refs weren't buying that. There's a chance to grow this lead again. Well, you got to get get back and get matched. Even if you're cross-matched, you either put so much pressure on them. Oh, look at Shibwe. Missed it, grabbed his own rebound, put it back up and in. So add a rebound and two points for Oscar Shibwe. He is so strong. I love the story he told us today that when he was, when he was young, you asked the question when he was young, his punishment from his dad was to do push-ups, right. which I said, you must have been a really bad kid because <laughs> you, <are laughs> you are a brick wall. So he got up to doing 100 at a time. time. Yeah, yeah, at a time. That's how strong Whoa, he is. Whoa, Sevier Wheeler gets that to go. And just like that, Mississippi State thought they had a chance. They were down 9, 11. And all of a sudden, it's 15. Sevier Wheeler, he's got nine. But how about Oscar Shibwe? 15 rebounds, 14 points. Said in the first half, we'll say it again. What is his oxygen? His oxygen is rebound. He'd rather rebound than breathe. And boy, one of the toughest things to stop in this league is Severe Wheeler in transition with a ball on his left side. Lethal. Yeah, kind of game they have to win. You're the new number one in the country, and you're on the road. Tough test. Missouri can play defense, and they do get the victory.
So they improved to eight. No, this conference, especially the top half of it, you go down to LSU, even Florida, they're, especially on the road, none of those are easy wins. None of them. Well, Ben was saying the same thing in our conversation today. This league is as good in terms of the top seven or eight that it's ever, that maybe has ever been. You go down that list and you think they, they could win two and get to the Sweet 16. They, they could win two. And I, I still believe Auburn is Final Four good. And I think this Kentucky team is too. They, do they have issues? Yes. But every, every team out there right now has something they have to get better at. But without Ty Ty Washington, who is their most viable guy tonight, the offense has been a little bit rough. But think about it, Ravi. Kentucky, they only take 60 shots a game. That's about a national average. So they can put you in some long defensive possessions when the game gets into the half court. You get the foul on Wheeler there, so that's his third. You saw a quick shot of Ty, oh, Ty Washington, and they get an interior pass and lay it up and in. He's sitting there with a big gray boot on that left ankle of his. I, I don't know, Ravi, who the breakdown was on the baseline out of bounds under, but they, they got to come out of the game. We're getting ready to find out because Mintz is coming in for whoever that guy was. And we start with 10. Too strong for Allen. Shebway, 16th rebound. And watch out, he throws it up high. He's going after another one. 17 rebounds for Oscar Shebway. He's like a grown man in a sixth grade game. Rocket watch slowed down by Wheeler, and now he goes baseline. Lays it up and in over Kellen Brady. And here they are again within. 11 wide open Allen in and out Wheeler unable to guard his yard on that last possession You want that ball be driven straight by your hip man. That's a concern Good pass there by Watts who Lobbed it into the hands of Garrison Brooks and there'll be free throws foul on Oscar Shibway Chance to get it down within 10 we got 10.54 left to go. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Progressive Insurance. Save when you bundle auto, home, or motorcycle insurance. Visit Progressive.com. Mississippi State for seven years. As you're watching the SEC on ESPN, he says never has the conference been as good as it is this season. And the SEC, of course, Big 12 Challenge comes up this weekend. It's always about the matchups. As Howland said, wait a minute, Texas Tech took Kansas to the wire. We're playing them. Usually, you ideally set it up, the one plays the one, the two, and the two. Doesn't work out that way all the time. Yeah, I, I just wonder if we couldn't wait and have the home teams determined that who you're actually going to play isn't decided until like two weeks out. Then you could have those one versus ones, two versus twos, a little bit more aligned. And you, know, you got to set those things in the preseason. Well, it's guesswork at that point. But right. Well, certainly, Kentucky at Kansas, our game, Baylor at Alabama, and then Rick Barnes has returned to Texas. There'll be a lot of eyes on those three games in that challenge. Now well, the free throw misses, so they had a chance to get it to 10. They didn't do it. See if they try to get it to Sheboy. Grady penetrates. Tough shot. They're too strong, and that time they did a nice job boxing out. Ravi, you said that they might try to get to Shibway. That was something Cal was harping on in the huddle. But he looked at Shibway and said, look, man, you got to get your guy to two feet. We're not going to get you the ball posting at 15 feet. Get him down closer to the pa uh, to the rim, and we'll get you the basketball. He also wants Davian and Mintz to shoot the basketball more. It feels like he's open a lot. I saw that in that corner, and then he hit one off the side of the backboard. And, and Shibway just let his guy yep. catch it at two feet. Garrison Brooks, I mean, Shibway got got buried at the rim. Slow develop this offense right now. As they have five and Wheeler has nowhere to go with it. Oh, and he got bailed out by a foul on the baseline. They got that one on Cameron Matthews. He was stuck down there, Jimmy, with nowhere to go. And that's number three on number four. They got it down nine with 944 to go. And Mississippi State, they're, they're capable of back-to-back -back stops, and then they got to follow it up with makes to really put pressure. Cal goes to his side screen as well with Mintz on Shibway. Mm. 
top and not boy, good. No, and he may have hurt himself. He's down on the ground as his ankle maybe roll there. The penetration, Jeffrey's three ball. Look out, that drops. And boy, that did not look great. Down on the floor and grabbing his left leg, knee, ankle area is Jacob Toppin. Rabbi looked really awkward. Yeah, it did. On the stop of Toppin. Oscar Shibwe has done what you'd expect. He's got 18 rebounds tonight. No one else on the team has more than three. Rabbi, I'm hoping that was an ankle and didn't involve the Achilles as well, because he was putting no pressure on that thing. Yeah. Got off that floor. Kellen Grady, the floater, baseline, that's a good shot. Kellen Grady now with 10. You got to come out and respect his three. Now he's got the lift game with a yeah. ball fake and gets himself a little separation. It's a really solid big guard. See if Jeffries keeps shooting now that he knocked down his first three of the night. Keon Brooks settles behind the three-point arc and they let Molinar try to do some work. Instead, it's the big guy. In and out. I think Shibway kind of halfway rolled his ankle as well when he came out to, as a stunt defender. Mintz out caught it out of bounds. And instead of looking at Mintz for being out of bounds, Cal's looking at Safia Wheeler and saying you had Kellen Brady. Keep He's an eye on 34, Jimmy. You're right. He's right, at that right bench here. And he's walking off slowly. Oh, yeah. That's absolutely. He rolled that thing to the outside. And more Mississippi State. The door has opened up, and can they take advantage of it with 8.28 to go? Shiba on the end of the bench. Marty's right there, and he's untying his shoe and checking his right ankle. Molinar against Wheeler. No good. Good rebound and traffic by Ware. A good job by Wheeler to stay just in front of Molnar enough to not let it be an easy one. Oh, right way to Keon Brooks. Good vision from Savir Wheeler. Wheeler puts so much rim pressure on you when he's bringing that ball. You start ball watching, and Kentucky will slip somebody at the rim behind you. Lead is 10. The ankle thing's becoming a thing for Kentucky. There's a nice three ball. That's dropped by Shaquille Moore. Mississippi State runs their own version of two circle, a playbook right out of Kentucky. Moore gets spotted up and delivers. Tough shot, Mintz. That's too short. A bad shot. Jeffries, he'll launch a three. No good. That would have been a big one. There's a comfort level with Savio Wheeler. Remember, he led the SEC in assists last year at Georgia. Of course, Togo Smith led the SEC in rebounding last year. Keon Brooks stops and pops. Much better than the last drive of Mintz because he stopped off at two feet. We're getting you really miss Togo Smith in Mississippi State. Good play. The 13 point guy, yeah. And the pressure release isn't there, but Molinar is so crafty and so good, and a good play call by Ben Howland to lift the offense and open up that, that little rub cut off the elbow. You're going to take advantage of Kentucky. You're trying to do it now. Brooks misses. You have Toppin not on the floor. You don't have Shibwe on the floor. Both are out with ankles. And the three drops. Big three from Shaquille Moore. He's hot, and just like that, it's a four-point game here at Rupp Arena. Yeah, call all the people that turned it off and tell them to turn it back on. This game has really changed. The two most dominant guys for Kentucky are out, Oscar Shibwe and Ty Ty Washington. And Mississippi State starting to feel it. They are running better offense than Kentucky's defending right now. The cut by Molinar was special, just starts to kind of go away as a little bit of a blitz, blitz cut and just cuts it off short. And you go underneath the guy that's the best three-point shooter, you deserve to get one put on top of you. Ben Howland says, yes, sir. Hail State right back in it. Dickie B, the guys have something they want to say to you. Get well, Dickie B. Oh, it's time for Daddy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're awesome, baby. 
Kellen Grady in the middle there, calling a diaper dandy. Nicky V got a chance to text with him today, and he's reminding everybody, please get your autograph copy, dickvitale.com. Donate to the V Foundation. I mean, he's been shut down for the season with his vocal cord issue. And all he's thinking about, A, is trying to get back here, but more importantly, trying to raise more dollars for the fight against pediatric cancer while he deals with his own battles. He is absolutely relentless, is he not? He's relentless, he's loved, he's respected, and he's missed. All those things. There's a turnover. The good news, if there is any, in a four-point game for Kentucky, both Sheboy and Toppin are back on the bench, and 34 looks like he's healthy, and the crowd realizes, well, that's kind of important to have him back. Kentucky's got to turn it up, though, I'm telling you. And Mississippi State has been very comfortable the last three or four minutes on the offensive end. Weaver's got to light up the ball. He's got to always be aware of getting back screened and getting knocked off the, but with the pressure. Sheboy, uh, he came down with that hand, and it looks like it's either going to be on Sheboy or Brooks. You know, they call it on 34. Ravi, when you're on the road, Against a team like Kentucky, you have to be able to throw that thing inside when you want to and when you have to. And this is a have to moment. You're coming out of that timeout knowing that we're going to get this thing around the rim and at worst get ourselves to the free throw strike. Beautifully done by Ben Howland and his guys. Fabian Davis, 62% free throw shooter. Ben Howland, one of 15 guys to lead four different schools to the NCAA tournament Northern Arizona, Pittsburgh, UCLA, and Mississippi State. Not a lot of secrets between these two coaches. No, not at all. But, but ben, ben Howland knows how to win games. Yeah. And that was a winning game play coming out of the timeout to hammer that thing inside. Now, right, two-point ball game, 540 to go. Whole new ball game. Mississippi State has come all the way back. Largest lead for Kentucky was 16. And they get the block on the floor. Guys, I spoke with Iverson Molinar and Garrison Brooks today at Mississippi State shoot around, and they both spoke about the confidence that this team has. They feel like they can go run the table and win the SEC tournament and make some real noise. And I asked why. It's not only talent, it's cohesion, it's belief in self. And that comes from Coach Howland down. They really do feel like they can do special things this season. Well, they can. Here's a baseline jumper, Keon Brooks. Knocks that down. No, they're very capable of doing that. And again, tonight we keep reinforcing it, but no Tolu Smith. Mississippi State's missing probably their second best player behind Molinar. And no Ty Ty Washington. Three ball, great rotation. How's Shaquille Moore been in the second half with his threes? That's his third three. He has been outstanding at the top of the key. And you've got to, you've got to get up and into him right now if you're. Kentucky, but you can give him no space. Grady step back three, too strong. Offensive rebound comes to Wheeler. Think about it. Alabama loses tonight in a game with Georgia. Auburn pushed to the limit by Missouri, and here's Kentucky just up one. Brooks against Brooks. Allen, all sorts of contact. They call an offensive foul on Dante Allen. Well, Mississippi State, what do they do? They they flood the two-point part of the floor, especially the lane when you drive. And watch the mistake made by Kentucky. You're going to screen, re-screen on the second screen. Severe Wheeler goes under. And that's easy money for Shaquille Moore from up top. It was the screen, re-screen action that frees up Shaquille Moore. Kentucky finds himself in a one-point game with 4.34 to go. Yeah, Mississippi State without Smith. A chance to grab the lead here at Ruck. Kentucky unbeaten at home this year, 12-0. Mississippi State only has six offensive rebounds in this game. Quick hands by Shibway and the foul against Brooks. Ravi, I think there was some confusion with Mississippi State what they were trying to run. Ben Howland was trying to communicate it, but Rupp Arena was alive and electric. I don't think the pass was expected, but Sheboy is so good, man, at running through passes as a big guy up top. One of the things that Ben Howland was reiterating today, you talk about the energy at their shoot-around, how loud it was going to be. You have to communicate. You can see the wheel yeah. on that sign. Another way that they're getting messages into the players. Sheboy's free throws. 
All net. He's been very good tonight from the free throw line. Now five of seven. He's got 15 points to go with his 18 rebounds. Two-point game. Shaquille Moore has been outstanding in the second half. He now has nine points. Molinar's up to 18. Shibway short there, but an offensive board for Keon Brooks. Grady, no good. They're going to call that on Davion Mintz. Well, you can see the job that Brooks and everyone else now are trying to do to keep Shibway off the boards. They had all sorts of bodies on them. And Mintz now picks up his fourth. Grady got a really good look off of an offensive rebound. And, and the best time to shoot a three is when your best shooter can get open. And whether it's off of an offensive rebound or a set play or a loose ball scramble, get your best shooter with a long defensive closeout coming at him. And certainly Grady had one. Jeffrey's first free throws tonight. That looked good. High arcing free throw, and it drops for DJ Jeffries, shooting about 68%, and a chance to tie it. Sometimes shoot arounds will fool you. It, 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 Mississippi State shoot around did not fool us today. Right. There's a whole other level of intensity and importance and understanding. If we can come in here and get this one, man, are we going to be hard to keep out that NCAA tournament? They are right there with 4.16 to go. Good stroke from Jeffries, who's up to five. Again, nine and one when he hits double figures, and he's got five. Mississippi State keeping length on Grady, right? that's too easy. Big time flush for Oscar Shibway. He now has 17 and 18 rebounds. What's Kentucky doing? They have to have a basket. They go to their punch action. Anytime they call punch, the ball's going inside, and, and Shibway's going to punch you at the rim. Out of the end, Molinar wide open. He beats Davion Mintz, who's playing with the four fouls. We're tied again. It's three or four times Molinar has worked off a banana cut on the weak side off the elbow and shot a layup. Iverson Molinar's 9 of 15 from the floor. The crowd here at Rupp for the first time, they're all on their feet. They go back to Shibway. Baseline wow. reverse and a foul. Oh, what a night for Oscar Shibway. Ravi, he spun right out of that double team with quickness. And Shibway is going to continue to grow and learn because the double teams are going to continue to come at this guy. But man, the speed of this kid, watch him, what, he's going to win with his shoulders right there. The shoulders get separation. The double team is way too late. And Shibway makes him play. Bam, right there. And yeah, that Shibway understood the defensive help was coming from the high side. He spins off low. A big basket by Big Blue Nation. So it's Kentucky, that's the big one between the Blue Bloods and then the nightcapper, number 18, Tennessee, takes on Texas at the Irwin Center. Three great games, all part of the Big 12 SEC Challenge. Well, Oscar Shibway is heading towards a 20-20 night. He has got 19 points, 18 rebounds. Ravi, he came in, Shibway did, averaging one rebound every two minutes and 15 seconds, which is phenomenal. Tonight, one rebound every 90 seconds, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Three-point lead, good news for them. That ankle was not twisted too badly. He recovered. There's an offensive foul, moving pick, JV and Davis. Yeah, because Wheeler was going to get picked off. His man was spotting up in the corner because Wheeler came on the high side of it. And Dave, if Davis just stands there, they're going to get an open three, but he moves to his right just enough for the contact. And you know that 34 and White is going to get a touch. You could use Mintz as a screener, as a size screener, so they can't switch it. But Oscar Shibway is going to get a touch on this possession. Abaji was should. last night great, and tonight Shibway is reminding everybody he's in that conversation. Here comes the double, and he's trying to step through it, and a good tie up there by Matthews, who is a grown man. Cameron Matthews, 6'7, 220. That's how fast and tough and strong you got to be when you double team Shibway. I mean, he didn't catch it in the paint, so he was kind of suspect to being sucked up by that quick Mississippi State double. Kentucky gave him no outlet. Quick reset. Both teams in the bonus. Mississippi State, two timeouts. Uh, one timeout left. Kentucky, two. Wheeler. That's Man. pretty. Yeah, I stuck a fourth time tonight. Ravi, it's a short clock. And Mississippi State, you got to understand, he's going to go left and left her. you got to take it away, especially in a short clock. Molinar 
Nice pushing mince floater, so soft. Iverson Molinar, 22 points to quiet Rupp. B State has maybe taken him out of just camping down because of the quick double. So Cal has to make an adjustment if he wants to get 34 a touch. If they do double, does that open up somebody like Grady on the other wing? Absolutely it should. So Shibway now is going to step up ball screen and now screen into Grady. And that double team just waiting to happen. They're guarding him with a man and a half right now. Yeah, Garrison Brooks got his hand on him this week. Have 10 on the shot clock. Keon Brooks got his man in the air. He avoided a foul. He could have jumped into it. Instead, he avoided it and missed the shot. Yeah, a little bit of a smoke screen to get Keon Brooks freed up. Just missed it. Iverson Molinar, 10 of 16. Mississippi State is shooting 59% in the second half. And you get Shaquille Moore freed up again for a three for Molinar driving that ball. That's option one and two. Eight on the shot clock, Molinar, baseline jumper, looks good, good the whole time. Knocks it down, he's got 24, it's a one-point game. I think he's going to be really good, long-term, solid pro. That drive and pop was special. Junior guard out of Panama. Yeah, this is Ty Ty Washington time, and of course he's out with an ankle and a boot for Kentucky. Wheeler will go to the free throw line to shoot a couple. Ravi, this is some special stuff by Molinar. Just bam, explode. You got a smaller guard on you, a little bit of step back separation. That shot is pure, man. That's that is all net. He's not Russell Westbrook, but that was a Russell Westbrook move. That's who I thought about. I, I, I'm with you. There, there's a little bit of similarity in the body and kind of the style that he has. But another guard in this league that is hard to guard. Shoots it a little bit similar from the side. What a night he's having. He's got 24 and 11 of 17. Wheeler's free throw gets him to 12 points and now 13. 13 points for Wheeler, four assists, and just two turnovers. And the crowd again on its feet. Good hand. And the ball is loose on the floor. So are the bodies. Moore comes away with it, and he finds Molinar. What a good hustle play, Shaquille Moore. Yeah, the quickest guy to the ball. Under a minute to go, Jimmy, in a one-point game. 48 seconds to go in the game. 18 on the shot clock. Wheeler tries again, and he's denied. Cal's been going with his stack actions. What is that? They're back screening Shibway and trying to let him roll. Wheeler, ooh, he hit the ground hard. Shibway there to grab a rebound. And they're gonna call it on the floor. I think it's gonna be on Moore. Yeah, it is, it's on Shaquille Moore. And I think it's gonna send Shibway to the line. Wheeler was looking for contact and the only thing he made contact with was the floor. Good hands by Grady who doesn't foul. He only fouls about one time per game, but there's that quick steal to keep game pressure on Kentucky. And now Shibway, I said in the first half, he filmed his free throws today at the end of practice and then looked at it. Just such a visual kid and a high IQ guy, but that's a huge, huge miss. Yeah, he's been so good tonight. Oscar Shibway, now six of 10. He just got his 19th rebound to go with 20 points. There's 33. Well, you've got to box off right now if you're Mississippi State. Physical, doesn't matter. 21 and 19, two-point game, and about a two-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Mississippi State's going to run four down, so they got four along the baseline, and Molinar's going to drive. Mm, Kellen Grady looked like he got a lot of ball, but the whistle blew. Yeah, Grady's been good on Molinar. But Iverson Molinar has not only kept Mississippi State in the game, but has a chance to maybe pull off the upset. 6-3 guard is such a really good, makes vicious cuts without the basketball. His snake move was special. That's kind of what got Mississippi State going with that high flat ball screen. Now he's got a chance for two big ones right here. And he is a very good free throw shooter at 87%. 
Knocks down the first. Molinar's career high in points is 28. He now has 27. Out of Panama City, Panama. Yep. The last NBA great player to come out of there, Rolando Blackman, who had a 12-year career in the NBA from Kansas State. Chance to tie it with 22 to go here at Rupp. And he does so. Iverson Molinar has been outstanding, and we are tied up with 22 seconds to go. Not only was the stroke pure, but the guts to step up there in a raucous Rupp arena to tighten this thing down to a tie game. Jimmy, they're shooting 62% in the second half. Man, Cal has two timeouts. You know it's going to involve some type of a some type of action for Shibwe, but primarily, can you get Wheeler going left, and can Wheeler make the decision at the rim to possibly win the game? Kellen Grady with four seconds, three seconds, he launches, that's off, and we're going to go to overtime. Kellen Grady, a contested three. Mississippi State fights back, and we are going to overtime. That cannot be the option that Cal wanted. Grady had to try to make something out of nothing because Wheeler couldn't get downhill with his left. They pushed Sheboy out where if he catches it, it's at the 12-foot mark. And what a comeback by Mississippi State. The injuries for Kentucky kind of opened the door, but Mississippi State said, we'll bust that thing down and we're going to play five more. Mississippi State has led this game for a total of eight seconds. Mississippi State is 1-0. They won over Richmond. And for Kentucky, this is the first time they've had an overtime this year. I just, nothing about this last possession for Kentucky was good. I mean, Wheeler gets shut off by Molinar. They try to go empty side and let, Mol and let the Wheeler get to his left hand. Then the play just breaks down. Cal had two timeouts left. And you've got to get Wheeler in some type of an isolation off of the screen to get him going downhill. And Molinar just kind of shut off the water. and. And you've made, made a, a, bad made a living getting rebounds. Get yes. the ball up on the rim. But much sooner. You've, you've got to give Sheepway a chance to get an offensive put back. And, but credit Mississippi State. They were able to shut off Wheeler on that left side. And, you know, Cal had two timeouts left. Things that you look back on and say maybe should have, maybe would have. But boy, a lot of credit to Mississippi State and Iverson Molinar has been huge, huge. I mean, she played with 21 and 19. If you look at Iverson Molinar, 12 out of 18 from the floor. He's made key free throws. Hard to take him off the floor. He's played 31 minutes and doesn't even look at all like he's getting fatigued. No, he's only got two fouls. He's not only been in foul trouble at all. In fact, nobody has more than three on Mississippi State. Mintz and Brooks each have four for Kentucky. Our net games tonight brought to you by SoFi. Shibwe is one rebound shy of a 20-20 game. Molinar has been dynamite in the second half. The other guy that's been terrific, especially with his shooting, was Shaquille Moore. He shot this team right back into it with his three threes. And he's got nine in the game. So we're going into overtime. Of course, UCLA and Arizona is coming up as soon as we are done here. Mint steps in front and steals that tip. The guy that should deserve a little credit on that last play, Javian Davis kept pushing Shibwe out. He did. And by the time Shibwe was looking to get the ball, he was almost near a free throw line. Yep. Wheeler takes the jump shot. That's not good. And a rebound to Shaquille Moore, way off to the left. What has Kentucky run on their last two possessions? Jeffries, no good. Shibwe gets it. That's rebound number 20. So Oscar Shibwe. Now has a 21 and 20 night. They get transition ball screen on Wheeler. The throw back for Grady. Backside bomb. Wide open three. No good. Shibwe fighting for it, but it's loose. Mississippi State still tied 72 all in overtime. Got Shaquille Moore working off the circle action. Now it's Molinar's turn to work off that baseline screen. I like Molinar driving that ball, man. Jump shot, no good. That ball hit the floor before it's picked up. Davis missed a layup. And the ones you got to make, right, when you're trying to pull off an upset. 
Now if Harry right in the ear of Kellen Grady, sh take that shot. Davis is putting his 245 pounds yeah. on Shibway and doing a terrific job of it defensively too in Maroon. Yeah, it's, it's, it is Maroon. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse good, Kellen Grady on the baseline. He's more than a three-point shooter. He's a really good cutter and player out of the corner. Kentucky by two, less than three in the overtime. Cal wanting to extend his pressure and push Mississippi State out. If you do that, the danger is Molinar getting downhill, though, if he beats his guy. There it is. Minster sure did. He blew right by him, and Molinar has got 30. That's the danger of getting out to the 28-foot mark and pressuring a guy like Molinar. Minster, I guess, right? Being careful, four fouls. Next yeah, one, you're out. Had to. Wheeler rarely goes to his right. He did there. Grady, wide open, three. Got it! Just enough of a punch by Wheeler to free up Grady, who sprinted. Kentucky fans love when I say violent cut. That was a violent cut by Grady to get himself open. Taking 10 threes, he's made three of them. He's got 15 points, Kellen Grady. And it's a three-point Kentucky lead. Don't go under on that ball screen. Good job by Mintz. Shaquille Moore doing a lot of dribbling. There's five seconds to go. Matthews, no good. Offensive rebound, second for Davis. Jeffries, he'll take a three. That's way off, and it's in the hands of Mintz. Jeffries had a wide open three, and it was an air ball. And he is not a three-point shooting threat. Five other guys. Yeah, 25% coming in early in the clock. Just a bad decision by Jeffries. Big trip here with a buck 20 to go and up by three. Wheeler runs right into Davis. Brady's going to have to shoot with two. Oh, Kellen Brady scores the last six for Kentucky. Back-to-back -back three balls and the place is going crazy. He just shot the lights out. It all started the previous possession by Kellen Grady with a violent cut from inside to outside the defense. Watch a hard cut, boom, get out there, backs out of it, and lets it fly. And then the very next possession, Severe Wheeler and Grady to the sidestep breeze. I said he can shoot him multiple ways. Sidestep, backstep, transition, big ones by 31 and White. Yeah, pretty good numbers here for Kellen Grady. Again, no tight tie Washington. This is only going to do good things for Kellen Grady in Kentucky as far as confidence goes. Randy, because he can now put the ball on the floor, it just really opens up his entire game. You know, great, great guards can get themselves open. They don't have to have a screen or a play call. And I think that's what Kellen Grady is. He just has a nose and a knack to get himself open. I've never seen a guard in the NBA that has to have a screen to get himself open. They just have a way to do it. And Kellen Grady's got some of that in him. And he's Kentucky with 35 minutes a game. That's that's the one stat that the coach controls. Cal not taking that dude off the floor. He's played 42 minutes tonight more than anybody else. And a great graphic there. Five points in the first half, five in the second half, eight in overtime. Grady has tremendous eyes. He's in phenomenal shape. And he is a really hard cutter, and he uses different speeds to get himself open. He's not a one-speed guy when he comes off of his cuts. He kind of get his defense lulled in, then boom, he's got a little extra step to get himself open. If I'm Cal, I tell Grady, shoot every time you have a good look. Now, Mississippi State, you know, one timeout left. Kentucky still has two in this one. With a minute 12 to go, Kellen Grady carries back-to-back three-point shots. And all of a sudden, Kentucky knocking down shots in overtime. They did not shoot at a win at Rupp, become the first team to do that this year. Uh, Auburn's not going to lose more than three games in this league. If you're Kentucky, you can't afford to drop another one if you're going to stay in that hunt up top. Much better than not going underneath any screen on Moore now. Garrison Brooks lost it. That's a turnover. He's dribbling. And he dribbled it right into the hands of Sevier Wheeler. 
And now Connecticut, I should say Kentucky, will take their time with 50 seconds to go and 20 on the clock. That's just not his game. I don't know if that's a play call to get Brooks driving, but that is not his strength. Got to go early enough to get an offensive rebound. Yeah, blitz that thing. Just don't foul. That's a mistake by Matthews. They had him pinned there. He's claiming that Severe Wheeler lifted that elbow and tried to clear me out. I like that late clock blitz by Mississippi State to try to double that ball out of Wheeler, but you can't foul. I'm not, yeah, I'm not so sure that Wheeler's right elbow didn't commit the foul. <laughs> now to take a look at it. Allen scoring Wheeler now with 14, Brooks with 12, Grady 18, Shibway 21. Wheeler has become a better shooter since he came to Kentucky Rally. Rebound, Shibway. Brad Calipari has worked a ton with Wheeler. He used to bring his elbow back on the left side. He doesn't bring his elbow back anymore. He keeps it underneath him and it's up and in. And his shooting numbers back it up. How about Shibwe going to grab his 21st rebound to go with 21 points? It's not a 20-20 night. It's a 21-21 night. I mean, two guys are trying to pinch him and be physical. He just bull rushes his way through that now, hard pinch. You're playing on a team with a bunch of other guys that are 6'9". Can, can that be taught or is this innate in him? No, I think this guy's just wired to go get it, and he understands that that's his ticket to the next level. When you're a specialist like that, his rebounding is going to translate to the next level. And we touched on it in the first half. He is driven every single day by Look trying to provide. He got time. another yeah, one. Again. He had it again, and uh oh. Uh oh. He down. He was grabbed immediately at his right knee, but now he appears to be up and okay. It is unbelievable the contact that he's dealing with and yet it's his hands to get the ball first look at the two guys and he finds a way to get it what separates him from guys like david mccormick last night at kansas this dude gets it on both ends he's the number one defensive glass guy and the number two offensive glass guy in the country pick up rebound 22 and that will more than likely do it as Mississippi State will let him dribble it out. He, Shibwe, intimidates dudes on the floor more than any guy I've seen in the last 20 years when the ball is shot. That's the presence that he brings. 21 points, 22 rebounds for Oscar Shibwe. Mississippi State denied in overtime. Kentucky wins it thanks to Kellen Grady's three-point shooting. 82-74. Shibwe's a bad man. He is. So is Marty Smith. Delighted to have him back. Jimmy Dykes, Carl Ravitch. So long, we head to Polly Pavilion. Dave Passion, Bill Walton.